Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to set up Edom uh, in Fortigate Firewall. Actually, VDOM is a really awesome feature because you can uh, split your firewall in two or three sections and uh, share it between different companies. So uh, instead of buying different devices, you can uh, split the resources between different companies so this in this example um, we have a scenario that um, we have a Kali with Widom A and Kali with Widom B that they are connecting through the port 4 and port 5 so here port 2 and port 4 is in Widom A and port 3 and port 5 is in Widom B so, and uh, as you can see, the both of them are connected to our cloud that they, they get the IP address from uh, the cloud. Uh, so these two ports are DHCP client and the other one, uh, these two ports are DHCP servers that the uh, actually VDOM A and VDOM B Kali VDOM A and Kali VDOM B gets an IP address from DHCP client. So the first step is to enable your VDOM uh, in the FortiGate firewall. So I connect to a FortiGate firewall and here I just go to config system global and then uh, you can type this part of the syntax big type here set uh, we don't uh, multi with them and when you when you uh, write here end uh, it will ask you that do you want to log out the system uh, to take a uh, effect so you you press yes now, uh, if you log in through the system, so uh, the port 4 and I, I would connect through the uh, port 2 because port 2 is connected to the cloud. So set I set the port 2 as a DHCP client and port 3 as a DHCP client to get the IP address. So I connect to, through the admin and here I go to config system interface and uh, sorry config uh, system interface uh, or maybe we have global here uh, and uh, you can config uh, a system interface yeah and then edit port 2 like this edit port 2 and here i set the mode as a dhcp because i want port 2 and port 3 get the ip address from dhcp so i set the port 2 as a dhcp and end and end it again uh, so sorry, I have to come back to global mode interface config uh, global and show system interface. So now you can see that we have an IP address on port two, and what I can do now. What I can do, I can uh, connect to port 2 uh, HTTPS 142.232.197.115 is my IP address. Oh, I've, I forgot, actually, I forgot to enable the HTTPS on in the global mode. Um, I go to config uh, global and uh, the port was port 2 so 
config system um, interface edit port 2 and then uh, set allow access to HTTPS and let's enable ping and SSH so I just end to take effect and now uh, if I refresh this if I bring it here to to see that you see that it the now is enabled so I make it bigger and let's start the VDOM so as you can see now firewall is in the global mode and here in the left uh, part of your screen you can see that we have a global and a root and uh, basically I have enabled the VDOM in the firewall and the next step is to create a, some VDOM like VDOM A and VDOM B and then uh, we can practice some uh, some traffic from VDOM A or VDOM B so I created VDOM I call it VDOM A the first one and uh, leave it as the default one like profile dash based and uh, the the second one I call it VDOM dash B so these are the uh, our VDOMs, VDOM A and VDOM B. Uh, here we have a different options. You can actually play with a NAT. If you don't want to be in a NAT, uh, you can set here operation mode and change the operation mode if you like to change that one. But I leave it as a default. And uh, something else that uh, I want to do it in this example. If you look at this diagram, I want to set the port 4 uh, and port 2 as a VDOM A. So I come back again to the firewall. I will go to uh, global mode. And if you look at the interfaces, here we have port 2 and port 4. So I click on port 2. And here I set it as a VDOM A, as you can see. Uh, as I told you previously, VDOM and uh, port 2 get the IP address from the DHCP, so get the IP address from the client or a cloud one. Um, and port 4 is a DHCP server, so this one is okay from here. So I will go to the next one, port 4. Port 4, I set it as uh, again VDOM A. And here for a port 4, because I want to set it as DHCP server, I run the IP address like this one, uh, 91 slash 24. And let's enable the DHCP server. So the DHCP range uh, automatically goes from 2 to 254. And... Uh, so I don't want to uh, access the HTTPS SSH ping or something like that in this port. Uh, leave it as a default. And then for port, uh, if you look at the diagram again, for port 3 and port 5, I want to use it as a VDOM B. So I will go to port 3. Click this one and this one VDOM B. So port three, it should be DHCP client, or uh, you can, uh, yeah, it should be DHCP client because you should get the IP address from the cloud. So I click as a DHCP client, and uh, the next one is port five. Port 5 again is VDOM B, and here I set the another range like 192.168.91.1 slash 24. 
and here I want to enable HTTPS another uh, HTTP oh yeah HTTP sometimes because your your firewall doesn't have the license it's very good to enable the HTTP but if you are sure that you have a license definitely select the HTTPS um, SSH so you have SSH here and HTTPS so you can enable the pink and uh, something else that I want to enable the DHCP server for uh, the Kali that we have in uh, here actually in the diagram Kali V B so basically any IP, any any user uh, connected to the port 5 or port 4 both of them get the IP address so as you can see port 2 and port uh, 3 both of them get the IP address from the cloud one of them is 115 the other one is 116 and uh, you can see that uh, two ports are connected to VDOM A, two ports are connected to VDOM B. So um, now we uh, we categorize the ports. If you click on the Kali, oh, the Kali is not within life, so it takes time to boot from the uh, operating system. So in the meantime, I come back here and uh, I explained that I want to Kali Vidam A uh, get the IP address uh, from the port 4. So we should check here that uh, Kali Vidam A gets the IP address from the HTTP server or not. And uh, I want this Kali uh, uh, reach to the internet uh, through the Vidam A. This one, I don't want to reach to the internet, but uh, I want to get uh, access to the firewall. As you know that we have already um, allowed some um, uh, access like HTTPS ping on port five. So I come back again here just to check uh, everything is good. Uh, let me make it bigger so uh, just I want to check the IP address here from the uh, Kali A you, you can see that the IP address 92 and it's from the DHCP so if I go to the other one uh, here so uh, I just write if config, you can see 91, both of them are getting IP address from DCP and we should be able uh, to reach to the firewall from the uh, from this Kali. So if I write just HTTPS 192.168.91 you can see that I can reach to the internet. Uh, sorry, I reached to the firewall. And, and the other Kali, and this Kali, if I just type in the browser uh, google.com, let's see what's gonna happen. If I write it here, just google.com, you can see that we don't have um, internet because we haven't uh, defined uh, a static route uh, on the firewall. So I come back again to the firewall and if you go, now we have VDOM A and VDOM B. So if you go to VDOM A, uh, you have a static route here, a static route and create a new static route uh, you want to traffic from port 4 uh, actually the interface is port 4 or port 2 let me let me check from here uh, was it port 2 I, I guess it's, it was port 2 yeah it was port 2 and 
it was uh, port 2 and the IP address was this one it has automatically detected gateway so you can confirm that so any traffic uh, from the VDOM A should pass through the port 2 so port 2 is like a gateway for us so now uh, we will come back again to Kali and uh, let's see if I type the google.com, can, can I reach to the internet or not? Uh, maybe I... Oh, sorry, I, I didn't allow the traffic policy for this one. Yeah, we cannot reach because the traffic is... Uh, we just set the static route. We, we didn't define the security policy here. So we will go to this IPv4 policy. We should, we should say that from port 4 to port 2, any traffic can pass. So I create a new pol policy here. I, I call this policy internet. And here for incoming interface, I would say port 4 because the traffic uh, direction is from port 4 to port 2, right? And the source is all destination is all and the service is going to be all and the rest of that leave it as a default and click on ok now come back to your uh, uh, we done and type it again the google.com now here we go you can reach to the internet so this is the kind of practice with VDOMs and how to pass the traffic from one port to other port of the VDOM. Uh, it, it's really, um, I would say, a good feature uh, in the uh, for you get firewalls when you want to split the traffic or when you want to split the resources in the firewall. You can uh, you can do it in big devices. I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.